What's up ladies and gents, my name is Parv and I'm here to guide you through another wonderful episode of our League of Legends Top 5 Plays. Be sure to stick around until the very end to hear a special celebrity cameo from our boy Black Enola. Alright everyone, let's get into things starting off of course with our number 5 play coming out of the brain of Razor Storm on Heimerdinger. We see him poking in from the side after setting up some turrets in the brush and he's looking to bait the enemy team into following him. He puts down the upgraded turret and as they CC him, the turret starts to rip apart blue team. He uses Anya's to stall some more and to allow his turrets to keep AoEing down the opposing team and then he gets kicked away. All of a sudden the enemy Thresh goes for the hook but he puts down the turret just in time to block it and then continues cutting back with his Thresh. Out of nowhere he turns to finish Shen off and level up as he continues running utilizing the excellent box from Thresh to kite Lee Sin around as a Mumu flash ults to make it a 2 for 0 exchange. Coming in at our number 4 play, we have the available tree on Lucian with a crazy play to somehow turn the tides of this game. Blue team is up an insane amount of gold and it definitely shows as they tower dive to kill 2 players on Lucian's team, then Lux and then move in for him. After a great calling, the friendly Shyvana goes in so he focuses down the fed enemy Fizz and then sees a great opening to dash onto Nasus, bursting him down for the double kill. Renekton now switches over to Lucian but he uses Blade of the Ruined King to speed himself up, forcing Renekton to flash and stun him. In all this chaos, he sees an opening with Morgana moving in and cues Renekton sniping her out for the triple as the enemy Jinx moves in fast. She then summon her heals for the speed up so he flashes back and waits for the zap, dodging it and then going straight back in to bring her low enough for the red buff to scoop up the kill. Lastly, he dukes it out with Renekton, somehow getting the unofficial pentakill in the grimmest of situations. Landing in at our number 3 play, we have Colt from Texas on Oriana with a nifty teamwork oriented play to put them ahead in a close high elo game. We see the majority of red team hiding in the fog of war with the pink ward down looking to bait and surprise blue team. Oriana clears the wave and pretends to rotate towards mid so blue team beelines it for the inhib and then red team engages. Oriana shoots her ball in into a huge command shockwave and dissonance as Rumble and Graves use their ults as well, melting them down in seconds to get a lead in this close game. Baited and outsmarted. Our number 2 play comes from Escalate Soul on Zed as he pulls out a bunch of clutch moves all with very little time to react. Right off the bat we see that the friendly Lux is in a bad position and he does what he can with his shadow but at this point he needs to get out so he books it for his tower. Caitlyn stays right on him because she knows he doesn't have his W up and then she chunks him low and goes for the kill but he reflex ults both of their ults and then he plays it ballsy until Gragas goes down. He sees LeBlanc move again so he swaps with his shadow, runs around the barrel from Gragas and then sidesteps Caitlyn's Q as his team cleans up shop. I'd recommend rewatching this play to catch all the little things he did and his pathing throughout this team fight because you'll notice one thing, it's all reaction timing and instinct. And for our number 1 pro play for this week, we have Nurse Akali on Lee Sin with a game changing play at Baron. In the beginning, we see that blue team is down about 10,000 gold, and the enemy team is currently doing Baron to get that spike in power to close out the game, but Lee Sin has other plans. He war jumps out of range of Twitch, knowing that they'll just go right back to doing Baron as he wraps around the Baron pit wall and into a better position. The enemy team knows he's lurking around and put a ward over the wall but he manages to sneak his Q onto Baron and then decides to go in, smite stealing it away as they instantly turn on him but he runs straight to the wall and ward jumps out to safety. When his Q comes back up he snags a kill on Twitch and then moves in to help his team battle to win this close team fight despite them being down 10,000 gold worth of items. He safeguards to the ward and finishes off Lulu as Nami and Lee Sin turn to handle the enemy Ziggs 2v1ing him to eventually get Lee Sin his third kill in this turnaround play. And for the bonus clip of the week, we have Pentakey on Nidalee. Take it away, Black Enola. As we start, we see that blue team has their backs against the wall as the red team is looking to make their way in. Wanting to avoid the wrath of the turret, they throw some wards down to get some vision. In fact, they love having vision so much that they end up placing 8 wards in the base before Eve decides enough is enough. She flashes in, unleashes Agony's embrace while the rest of the red team follow up. A solar flare from Leona followed by a counter strike from Jax turns this balls deep engage into a 4 for 1 in favor of the red team. I'm Black Enola and you just finished watching Top 5 Plays. Check out PotatoMonster.com and submit your top plays to have a chance to be featured on the next episode. And feel free to check me out on YouTube also. We'll see you next time.